I'm Jackie from Multnomah County Library, and I'm going to show you how to place holds on items in the library's catalog. When the item that you want to borrow from the library isn't available right away, you can place a hold and the library will let you know when it's ready for you. This includes items that are on order that the library hasn't received yet. You can also place a hold if an item is at a library location that's far away from you, and we'll send it to the library location of your choice for you to pick up. I'm here at the library's website, multcolib.org, and I'm gonna search for the book Front Desk by Kelly Yang. And you'll notice that here on the left side of the screen, this is where I can find books and eBooks and audiobooks and movies, all the things that you can borrow from the library. On the right side of the screen are other places on the library's website where my search words showed up. So I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna click to look at all the results of the things I can borrow from the library to make sure I don't miss anything. So here you can see the different formats that the library has of the book Front Desk by Kelly Yang. You can see that we have a copy of the large print book, we have a copy of the standard book, we have the ebook, and we have the downloadable audiobook. Now, if I want, wanted to get a copy of the book, I can click here to see where it's available. Up here at the top are the libraries that have a copy of this book checked in because it says available. And then farther on down here, you can see there are all the libraries where this book is checked out. Now I use the Troutdale Library and you can see right here that their copy of this book is checked out. So I'm gonna close this screen here and I'm gonna click on that green button that says place hold. And at this screen, I'm gonna type in my library card or library connect number and password. And if you don't remember your library connect number, it's your school district code plus your student ID number and school district codes are listed here. The default password for a library connect account is your birth date in the format of a two digit month, a two digit day and a four digit year. So now that I know that, I'm going to type in my Library Connect number and my password. And submit. On the next screen, it's going to let me choose where I would like to pick up my book. So you can see it's already set here for the Troutdale Library for me, but if I wanted to pick it up somewhere else, I could choose another location off that list. And once I'm ready, I just click on place hold. Now you'll notice that the green button has turned to gray and it now says cancel hold instead of place hold. So now I know that it worked. The library will send me a notification when my book is ready to pick up. Now, I would also like to borrow the ebook of Front Desk. And it looks like all the copies of the ebook are checked out. I know that because it says all copies in use and also because the green button says place hold. If this ebook was available to borrow right now, it would say borrow in that green box. So I'm gonna click on place hold and I just need to verify that my email address is correct. And then I'm gonna click on place hold. All right, and once again, you see that it's confirmed because it now says cancel hold. If you want to keep track of your holds, you can always scroll up to the top of the screen and click on your username and then click on on hold. Here you can see a list of your holds and your spot on the waiting list. So I'm number one on the list for the print book and number two on the list for the ebook. There's also an option to cancel your hold if you decide you no longer need it. When your hold is ready, the library will contact you to let you know. We use the information that we got when you signed up for your library card, usually your email address or sometimes a phone number, to contact you. 
If it's a physical book, you'll have a week to come into the library and pick up your hold. Now you know how to place a hold. We hope you enjoy using your Multnomah County Library.